Hi everybody, I'm continue doing the Cybersecurity 101 path. Uh, um, what am I? Uh, the Linux shell. Learn about scripting and different type of Linux shell. So basically, this one introduction to Linux shell. Not sure if it is premium theme. It's a subscriber. Okay, so um, you can, what this will of course uh, this is Linux shell. So basically, that's. Uh, uh, what it is? It is a way to communicate with your computer. So basically, so who, what, who is the fuzzy between the OS? Uh, let's uh, let's clear the new uh, is the shell. Okay, I start the room. I'm um, using the attack box. I'm logging with this password. Let me see if SU will work with the same password. User, um, at try hack me. Uh, it's not a root password, it's an sudo password. Okay, we can use sudo later on, that's fine. Uh, let's uh, continue. Uh, this is a shell, of course, uh, all the command Linux uh, address of flag hand.sh. Uh, let's make a zoom it, I forgot to zoom it, sorry. Okay, PW is the you working directory. Of course, who am I? Wherever uh, who I uh, am I? Uh, CD desktop uh, ls cat file name txt CD desktop. What file we have that in desktop? Uh, where? What the hell? PWD. Well, it doesn't have a desktop. CD home user, what do what you have in now? Uh, there's no desktop in this. Really, what's going on? LS home, who's a uh, user in this machine? User in Ubuntu. And why user doesn't have a desktop? What try can you playing with us? Okay, so that's fine. You read the file, if I want to read the file, for example, flag, you do cut or you do f vim. Uh, okay, this one we need it later on. Let's leave it for now. Uh, okay, the grab command, of course, we need. we'll test it later on. Uh, what we have in? The grab, yeah, the grab is to do sessions. So, what is the default shell in most Linux system? Um, shell is, uh, what we have, where do you put Linux shell, if I'm not mistaken, to... Uh, Vim etc shell, yeah, the, the shells that we have. Okay, so we have the search, the bash, the binary. In this machine, I'm talking the dash, tmax, screen, zash. So this one, so uh, our, uh, this machine it has a binary bash. So the most uh, common ones are the bash. Then which command utility is used to list? the content in directory of course see the minus la for hidden you can get the whole so it's an ls then which commodity can help you search search is uh, usually is grep grep is a powerful command we'll test it later on uh, the type of linux shell okay they said uh, let's see if you could uh, the variable linux shell uh, where is that uh, dollar sign equal Echo show yes so this is a bash for us uh, yeah so the file I said is in etc cut etc shell okay shells to give us the list of a shell uh, to switch between uh, this shell for example zsh you can switch that zsh uh, what Oops, uh, usually I'm not. Yeah, I never tried before. I'm always. Let's see if the Vim still working. <laughs> so, because this ZSH usually. Okay, it's fine. Let's continue with it. I usually work in Bash. If you want to permanently change your. Of okay, so this is to permanent change. We're not changing anything. The bone and uh, again, it shall. You uh, can read about it for, okay, uh, basically widely used in Linux, this is the widely used, it offers web completion feature, bash keep history, the history of course is uh, history file, that's what uh, 
there with a vim friendly attack of shells another called fish it offer very a well, very simple syntax and like bash it has auto spell correction okay the z shell provide i think we should uh, maybe you need to start to switch because this one has auto shell and this one i never thought about it before oh it's always bash 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 so this is different feature you guys you can read about it which shell comes with the syntax highlighting as an out of the box feature uh, out of the box feature if i'm mistaken is the fish full form of fish is friendly interactive shell is has limited scripting feature that's why most people use bash it offer advanced with completion suggestion some good customization so i assume uh, the fi the highlight syntax highlight in it has in the fish then which shell does not have an auto spell correction i think it's the bash yeah the one we keep using I need to test these auto uh, auto correcting things. Then which command display all the previous? This is history, so everybody should know this history. Um, then uh, shell scripting, of course. Uh, none of us script dot ch. Let me go back to bash. Um, uh, uh, let. I like to use uh, Vim. You you want me to follow the same as the room with Nano? Okay, let's use Nano. I don't like Nano, but Nano first uh, script dot sh. Then you the first thing on any script, of course, you need to do the what they call it the the uh, it has a very funny name. Uh, Where's where is my uh, uh, binary bash? They call it Bing. What do you call it? It's follow. Uh, it has a name. This I forgot about it. So always you start with that, and then you have a variable. So you have, a, for example, echo uh, read name. Let's uh, let's not waste time. Let's copy straight here. Oops. Control X to save. Save to buffer. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not. I'm not going out. Let me open that side. View. Zoom in. Zoom in. Because we have the script to run in Linux, we need to, to make it executable. So we can say, where did I save that script? Oh sorry, I can't run. Uh, I'm going back to my computer. Ch mod, uh, you need to exit it so you can run. So we can say, oh, what's hi? What's your name? Uh, my name is Janiel. He take a name and print it for me. So, so we can see what. Uh, okay, we did Vim. Let's do. If, uh, we did none. Let's uh, open Vim. So you can see the read it read output. So we, we know that thing. So we, uh, as I said, you do the plus x, you run it. Then the loops is four for i equals. So so we can uh, block this ones now in Vim. You just control uh, d. Uh, just type tw twice a d. So for example, if you do echo. This is basic scripting. So you can. Um, it's just to give you the idea of things how it work so you can say first it print the numbers for us done is when it finished the loop is there so this is a simple bash scripting most of the time you, you you're more in uh, python in uh, ctfs condition statement of course is uh, let's see what this one do I don't want to type guys so I don't want to waste everybody time because uh, Vim first script uh, let me uh, d, 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 so I delete uh, A to start uh, typing so if we do, do please enter your number you take the name as the input then if name is two watts so let me so make sure I type this when I run it then equal else so if statement straightforward Let's do first scripts. If my let's see if I put the correct name, 
it then welcomes the word and if I put something else it tells me sorry you are not to try to access this secret uh, this is a if statement the condition and that's it the comment of course you can add this uh, the comment in any script so that's straightforward then what's the sh oh they call it shabang that's why I forgot about it yeah uh, the shabang this line you call shabang okay uh, if I press it correctly so that's good which command gives executable permission to script of course you do ch oh sorry ch mod plus x then which scripting functionality help us configure interactive tasks uh, yeah we loop like we did a loop now here uh, no not the loop uh, loops yeah loops and then uh, we have here what uh, local script in the previous task we study viable loops and condition statement let's us take a knowledge requirement uh, so to open this we have john triac me the company name the pin is 7385 okay let's copy script and see what you do let, let's copy it so we don't cheat let's call it vim Let's, let's let's continue with try hack me nano nano uh, local dot sh let's copy it uh, so what this thing do username company pin for uh, of course you know you define the variable and then uh, define condition statement if uh, enter username john so we need to define the yeah, we can we, we can uh, what would be the correct pin to authenticate the local script no script doesn't have any uh, well username if username is john and the company try hack me and the pin what's why not seeing the pin what this script funny script That's why you better get it. Why? Why are you? That line is hidden. Okay, let's switch to. Let me go out of this. Save to the bus. Uh, yes. Save it. Let's open it with Vim, so we can see the whole thing. So this is a initialized variable, and then it said if. And pin is a three eight. So from the script you can see it. Username is John. Uh, let me three seven. So if I run this script now, uh, if I do search mode plus x local sh and run it, if I give him the correct statement, which is John, and I give him password uh, the company is try hack me. Enter the pin is seven three eight five seven three eight five you can now access the locker so we know this is a nice script to to practice the if statement else statement done so it, it gives you an idea remember this part is more but um, to get an idea what's different thing as security like linux windows so you can switch to want to do sock you want to do programming you want to do things so don't go deep in the first uh, thing because you just confuse yourself now here's um, yeah we have su do here let me do su do su the password what's that password again user try hack me user at tcap try hack me the reason why they said because now we need to the script this script he he tried to read the let's go back to uh, some changes are required uh, so let's see the script the script we're talking about is uh, flag hand if we open the flag hand file so so directory is empty it said varlo what exactly we supposed to do here some changes we said directory is var log and then uh, the flag is tag me flag zero so so now we need to to update our script to run because if we need to put var log as a directory 
and then uh, the flag it's what's uh, the flag THM uh, flag 01 dash script because it's text is not a file so if you come here I need to put uh, uh, the directory name which is already defined there uh, with a bash so we need to do dollar directory it should work like that you see it's using grab here so I will show you now to do grab directory without this script let's see if we we can run it chmod uh, plus x uh, flag hand let's see if it run flag found in auth another goal is I was playing with this computer before so don't worry don't don't worry about this because I was doing as you do this uh, it's me I was before I uh, make that video so it tell me the file is authentication and it's true if I cut for example um, what's the name of that flag uh, cut no not cut if I go now uh, no you need to go yeah if I go vim uh, var log authentication authentication log I can see the flag here the cat is sleeping under the table and uh, what's the question which file has and then whether the cat is sleeping sleeping under the table of course you can do the same things here you can just um, not vim it just cut it so so we know the file now is this one of course you, you could do this without the script but remember we did it with with this script you can just say grab minus i give me the line the name of the file is uh, try hack me uh, flag zero one script and then I want it from var log and adjust everything for example here uh, what the hell no much not I eh? recursive R so you can go read the go straight we don't need this for with the R so you can read the straight uh, remember the authentication log it's me Where? You remember uh, these two just guys forgot about them because I was doing uh, as you do uh, vim or because when you do as you do and it will it will record it in auth, uh, auth folder so don't worry about it so if uh, so now I grab I tell it grip request if you check all the directory inside the log and give me the line just the line it gave you the line the name of the file is var log authentication so so you either you do that or you play with the uh, sorry we play with the, the script you just put uh, the directory you need to put a variable here uh, that's it so the rest it's it's straightforward and we're done guys hope you like it and thank you very much and have a good day now nah, he's joking I already got this and it didn't win they just like play me you know, and give me defcon now every time th I got three now but in reality I'm not getting three thank you very much